Hello everyone and welcome back to the World War II Solitaire board game channel and well I was just you know walking my dogs here uh, today and I just felt like man there is not enough M4 Sherman tank action going on on my channel so we're gonna do a campaign of Lone Sherman a solitaire war game by Mike Lambo. So yeah we currently got a campaign going of Pat is best we currently got a campaign going of uh, American tank case and now also of Lone Sherman and that's just our tank action going on of course we got a campaign of B-17 Queen of the Skies and the Hunters uh, U-Boats at War uh, 939 to 42 or 43 okay so uh, anyway uh, objective here for this mission one is destroy both Panzer force and then move off the map in the direction of the Red Arrow so setup is easy, you place your Sherman on the black arrow uh, facing the direction that the arrow is pointing, so it's pointing that direction. And we're going to use a mix of um, Mwemwa 44 uh, miniatures and uh, beautiful markers from um, American Tank Ace and dice from, uh, what's it called? It's called uh, Tide of Iron, Tide of Iron. So we got, got a big mix of stuff here. You can use anything you want. You can use a, just a pen and an eraser. That works well as well. Okay, so uh, we have uh, to place out two Panzer IVs. So we're gonna roll uh, randomly uh, for that to happen. So the first one, we roll six. So we place a Panzer IV, remember to face uh, the edge which has the number. We roll for our second Panzer IV, and this time we roll a 6, that means we have to re-roll. Roll a 6 again, and then we roll a 2. So then we have the tanks in this place. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit hard. Step 1, remove German smoke, but we do not have any German smoke. Step 2, position a commander... Um, um, Mark is buttoned up or popped hatch. We are gonna go ahead and open up his hatch. Uh, popped hatch. And then we get to roll for our order. So we get two dice because we're on a road. We get one because we have our driver alive, one because we have our system driver alive, and then finally one because we have uh, our commander has a popped hatch. So we could choose now, of course, if we wanna do movement or firing. But I could actually not fire at any of these guys because I don't have a line of sight to them. So I'm going to try to position myself a little bit better so I can attack them. So I'm going to go ahead and roll now the five dice. And let's look at the orders available from these dice. We roll two threes, a four, a five and a six. So with the five and the six, I can move. Whoops. With the four, we can turn. And with the threes, we can also turn. However, with the double D, uh, <laughs> double three, we can also move because our driver is still alive. So you can do that with the double. So the question is, should I try to intercept this guy? Let's see, that is... I have one turn and one, two, three moves, so I could turn and move up here, and then I'm not going to be in a position where I can fire at him. So I'm not sure where I should move, to be honest, because he's going to come against me. Uh, I could potentially enter the village, but then I would leave my flanks open. I could try to go against this guy. So I have two moves. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn. And then I'm going to move one, two. And I could potentially move one more. But um, I have the tree line here, which I want to keep. Because that's going to give me a little bit of cover. If this guy decides to turn this direction and head over here. Okay, and yes, then we have the uh, second part, and we roll, let's see here, two because we're on a field, one because we have our gunner alive and loader alive, one more, and one more because we have a popped hatch, so we roll five dice. 
and we roll a lot of dice here and I'm just gonna use one of them I'm gonna use the one to load so I'm loading now the gun remember it starts unloaded and yeah we can't fire the main gun because I only have line of sight to this place and actually I do have line of sight to this guy but I don't think I can hit him because his size is four so we have five six seven eight because of um, eight hexes away sorry uh, five hexes away let's do that again we have a size of four five six seven eight nine and then we have a three line that becomes ten so i would have to roll ten or higher to hit well i mean i could try because i do have a bunch of fires and we have two loads so i use one load first of all to load my gun and then i use let's see here the three is wasted because there's no infantry to fire on and then I use a six to fire the main gun. So I point my turret at this guy and I fire. And again, I need a 10 or higher to hit. Ooh, I rolled 12. So I actually hit. Okay, that's pretty cool. However, we don't know if I actually did damage because now we have to check his penetration value. So penetration value here, the front of the Panzer IV is a six. My AP is a one. So that means to penetrate the armor, I need to roll a five or a six. And I roll a three, so it, it's a glancing blow. It bounces off his tank. I then use my one to load uh, the tank again. And the five, I could potentially try to fire again. But I don't think I'm going to do that because there is a real big chance now this guy is going to come after me. So I want to keep my gun loaded and stay ready for that. Uh, okay, so that is that we end our turn by uh, doing that I was gonna say but actually before we go we roll on C So we get two dice because we're on a field and then we get one because we have um, Our commander is still alive. So let's roll on the miscellaneous table and we're all two four and five so two would let us uh, assistant drive five uh, fire MGs and four would let us repair and five will let us smoke. So we are gonna go ahead and pop smoke and I'm just gonna use a counter here from American Tankies. And that ends our turn. It is now uh, the time for um, uh, Germans to remove smoke, but they don't have any smoke. Uh, you check our fire level, but fire level is zero, so we don't do anything. And then we start with the Germans. So this guy will start up here because he's the closest German and he is on a field. So he will get to roll four dice. And you will solve this now in order. We have three, we have four and we have five and we have six. So first of all, we have three, which is fire. If you can't fire, move. So he's gonna move. And always move the direction they're facing. And then we have four, which is turn. So he will turn towards my uh, Sherman. And then we have a five, which is move or reverse. If you can't, um, if you can't um, uh, move, you will reverse, but he will move. And then we have six, which is fire or hold down. So here we're going to have a problem now because he will actually fire at us and he have line of sight. So let's see what he needs to hit us. Our size is four. So base value to hit us is four, five, six, because we're two hexes away. So now he needs to roll a six. And then finally we have a plus one because of the tree line here. So it becomes seven and we have smoke. So the final number is actually eight for him to hit us, eight or higher. So <laughs> let's see how this goes. Eight or higher. Oh, he rolled six. We're still alive. Okay. And, uh, whoo, whoo, okay, I got a brief. Okay, so we go to end of turn events and we roll 2d6. And you can't really see it, but I promised I rolled a four. 
Uh, if command or not killed in action, perform either a load, repair or extinguish action if desired. However, I do not have any need to do any of those, uh, you know, um, things. So we go now to turn two. Uh, sorry, we do not. We have to roll for this guy before we get going. Sorry. Uh, and he's also on a field, so he will have to roll four dice. Can't believe I forgot him. So we have a one, and we have a three, and we have a four, and then we have a five. So for the one, he will fire or turn. And in this position, and units do not block line of fire, so he will actually get to fire at me. So my size is four, and I am one, two, three, four, five hexes away. So then we have a nine. Uh, to actually hit me and we have two three lines here so it becomes an 11 and then it finally becomes a 12 because of my smoke so he will hit me on a row of 12 all right so we already have a six here we drop in the other one. Oh my god i can't believe it okay so he hits me that's pretty unlucky man uh, okay, so let's see if he can manage to uh, penetrate my armor. He hits my front side. My front side armor is 5. His armor piercing value is 1, so he needs to roll a 4 or higher. Oh gosh. So he rolls a 4. And with a 4... Let's see here, we're all now on the damage table. So on a roll of one, we're destroyed and we're dead. Anything over, we should be good. And we roll a three, which is fire plus one fire level. That's not very good. We go ahead and uh, not here with a one, <clears throat> with a one that we have one in fire level. So we really need to take, uh, put that fire out. Okay, so that's the first order for this guy. And then he has a three, which is fire again. So we fire again, he needs 12 to hit, and this time he does not hit. And we have a 4, 4 is turn. So he's not going to turn, because with the turn uh, rules, if you are facing, the enemy is facing directly the Sherman, they will not turn. And then we have a 5, which will be move or worse, so he's going to move one hex closer. And that ends the game now, you would roll for uh, end of uh, turn events. But I accidentally did that a little bit too early. Okay, so now we go to turn two. Remove German smoke. Position commander buttoned up or open. We are going to keep him buttoned up. Uh, and actually, we have uh, some very sad news here. Uh, our commander is killed in action. And the reason why he is in killed in action is because... When the enemy fires at you to hit a tank, on a hit with a double, commander is killed in action if popped hatch. So unfortunately for us, the commander is dead now, so this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, but you know, because mainly taking out that, uh, removing the fire gets really hard. Uh, especially of course if you don't have the commander. So, well, well, we'll <laughs> we're going to try our best here. If we we're really lucky, we could do it in uh, the miscellaneous one. You can do it if you have your commander alive with a random event, but uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so we don't need to do step two, which is position your commander as buttoned up or popped hatch. So we roll. Uh, we have two dice because we are on a road. We have one because our driver is alive, one because our... Assistant driver is alive. We don't get the fifth die, obviously, for having a commander with a popped hatch. So we roll. And we roll six, six, five, and two. And yeah, uh, I will fire. And you have to decide that before you roll. Uh, I, I, I was going to fire. I just forgot to mention that. Very important fact for you. So yeah, we are firing. And we are firing at this tank here. And let's see, with a 2 we can load, with a 5 we can fire, and 6 we can fire, and 6 we can fire. Okay, so we go ahead and fire with the 5. And this guy is now 2 hexes away, his size is 4. So, uh, so 4, 5, 6 because of the range. 
and then seven because of uh, one tree line. You don't count the tree line which is next to you. So to hit him now, again, I need to roll a roll of seven or higher. <laughs> and I roll two. So that's it. We used two to load our gun. And then I am going to use the six to fire again at this guy. So we roll uh, again. We need a seven or higher. And this time we do get the seven. So that's pretty cool. That means we managed to hit him. And to penetrate, we are firing at his side, uh, front side. And we can see here the armor value is four. Our penetration is one. So we need to roll. Uh, uh, sorry, his frontal side is five and our armor uh, penetration is one. So we need a four or higher to penetrate his armor. And we roll a four, so we do it. And now we roll on this chart here for the German. We will need a roll of five or six to destroy him. Otherwise, we shall just uh, damage him. Yes! <laughs> okay. Pass the four down. That's pretty sweet. Only got one remaining. However, we are still on fire. We have a six remaining, but we cannot do anything with that because now our gun is not loaded. So we go ahead and, and roll now for moving, uh, which is uh, A. And we do not have five dice, but we have four. And let's see, we have two sixes and two threes. Let's see what we want to do here. With the threes, we can turn. With the sixes, we can move. So I think... Okay, so I'm going to use the three to turn and then I will use the six to move back uh, into this city and then I will use the three to turn. And then the last six, I'm just going to waste that one. Okay, and then it is time to roll on the last, which is C, miscellaneous. And we have, let's see, we're in, uh, I believe that is... That is a road hex, so we have two, sorry, one dice for that. And then we get one additional, no, we don't get one because commander is uh, dead. So we only have one die and we need to roll a six now to uh, let the fire go. So I'm going to back up. I am not going to move here. Uh, I had two sixes and two threes. I really need to, you know, uh, let the fire go. So we go ahead and move. Uh, okay, I can only reverse on a one. So I can use two sixes to reverse once because the driver is still alive. And then I can use one of the threes to turn. Actually, I don't need to do that because he's probably going to come this way. So I'll, I'll stay like that. Uh, or perhaps I should... Hmm. Now I'll stay like that. And then finally we roll on C, miscellaneous. Now we get two dice because we're on a field. So that's a bigger chance to roll one of those sixes to extinguish this fire. Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh. Okay, so we roll a six that is very lucky. And then we roll a two which is assistant driver fire MGs. But that doesn't matter. We are very happy that we managed to uh, put that fire out. We are sad however that we lost our commander. But you know, it's war. We roll on the end of turn events. Sorry, we do not. We roll for for our uh, Panzer IV, which will roll four dice because he's on a field. And let's see his dice here. We have two fours, a five and a six. So the four will make him turn. So uh, I think actually... Let's see, turn. If directly facing Sherman and facing Hex is inaccessible, inaccessible uh, turn, but that's not what's happening now. Uh, if directly in line with Sherman, that is not what's happening. If directly facing Sherman, uh, okay, that's not happening either. And turn face. So what he will do basically with the four, he's going to turn like that. And then with the other four, he's just going to turn like that. So basically it's uh, with the two fours, it's a wasted action. And then we have a roll of five, which is going to be move. So he's moving. And then we have a roll of six, which is fire or hold down. And this guy cannot fire at me because he can only fire along these hexes. 
So um, that means no fire, but he will hold down. So we put a dug in marker on him. And that is the end of the German round. We now go to roll for our um, random event. And we roll a three, which means sniper fire. Uh, if commander has popped hatch and in line of sight of infantry, he's killed in action. But we don't have a commander and we do not have enemy infantry. We go back to our turn and we will roll two because we're on a field. Plus one, plus one, because we have a driver and assistant driver still alive. Uh, sorry, gunner and loader would be previously when firing. Uh, not driver and assistant driver. Uh, okay, so we are gonna roll. What do we want to do? I think we want to go into that town, but because that's gonna give us a plus one to get to not get hit. Uh, or I might want to go up here and try to flank him. So I roll on the movement first with four dice and we roll five, four, four, and three. Uh, there we go. So with the five we can move, with the four we can turn, and with the three we can turn. So I don't really think we're going to use any of those. Hmm. Maybe we use the five to move up and then we use the double four to move once more Nah, that's stupid because if this guy gets two movement points, he's gonna get behind me and I'm gonna be lost So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna waste these uh, I'm gonna use I was think of using one to turn in case he enters the City, but I don't think he's gonna do that so I'll stay like that and wait him out. Uh, I'm not going to roll for attack because I don't have line of fire. So we roll on the last table, which is the miscellaneous one, and roll two dice. And roll one and one, which is gunner, um, uh, gunner, uh, fire machine gun, or loader. Uh, it can also be loader load, or you can hold down. So, uh, yeah, I should have rolled. I'm going to go ahead and hold down, by the way. And I'm going to backtrack again. I'm going to roll for fire because I want to load my gun. It's not loaded. I have two dice because I'm on a field. One because my gunner is alive. And one because my loader is alive. And I roll a two, which is what I wanted to load. Because you need a one or two to load. So I'm currently loaded up. And then I loaded a, uh, also lo uh, rolled a double. And that leads us now to the Germans, so we're going to go ahead and roll. This guy is on a road, so he will roll four dice. And he rolls six, five, five, and four. We begin with the four. The four is move, so he loses his uh, dug-in status. Five is move again. And five again is move. And then we have um, five, which is... Okay, so so let's me show you how I did. You have to do it I'm in order. So four is move, and we remove that. And five is move, so we remove that. And then again five, that is move again. And then six is actually firing. So he will fire at me now. I'm dug in. Uh, to hit me, he would need a four because of my size, plus one because I'm hex away. That's five plus two because I'm dug in. So that is uh, a total roll of seven or higher to hit. So yeah. Mm. Oh, he rolls four. <laughs> Ooh, that means he missed. Thank God. Okay, so I have a good feeling about this. Uh, I think maybe we can win this if we enter this city and, and get a flag shot on him. But anyway, we're gonna have to roll for random event before we do that. And we roll a free, which is sniper fire again. But again, we don't have a commander and we don't have infantry. So it's my turn again, and I start by rolling for movement. I roll two because we're on a field. One because I have my driver alive. One because I have my assistant driver alive. And we roll two, two, four, and five. That is pretty much what I'm going to need. Let's get them out here and remove them as I use them. So number two is turn, so I go ahead and turn, lose my dug in. Then number four is, sorry, number five is move, so I move in to this um, building place, uh, or buildings, a little city or village. 
Number four is turn, so I go ahead and turn. And number two is turn as well, so I turn. And then I am done with my movement. I move on to um, attack, and I have two dice because I am on a road. And then I have one die because I have my gunner alive, and one die because I have my loader alive. So let me please roll five or six. Ooh, okay. That's tough luck. No five or six here. We roll two, two, one, and four. However, we can use the double two to fire our main gun, and that is exactly what I'm gonna do. So we go ahead and fire the main gun now. To hit this guy, we he has a size of four. He's one hex away, so we need a five or higher to hit him. Please. Okay, roll six. You're gonna have to believe me. Roll six, so that is a hit. So we need to penetrate his armor now. His armor is gonna be four because we are shooting from behind. Um, and this is actually his rear side. Uh, this is the rear and this is the rear sides. So still it's four. Our armor penetration value is one. So I need to roll three or higher to hit or to penetrate and roll a six. So we definitely penetrate that armor. Now we roll for damage, five or six, he's destroyed. Ah, we roll a two, so that means he is damaged. It is not enough to destroy him, but it is enough to damage him. Okay, that is uh, not the end of my turn yet, because I will use the one here, since I spent my shell one to load my gun, so I'm ready to go in the next turn if I survive this one. Now it is the enemy's turn, and he starts out on a field. However, that is not relevant, because he's currently damaged. So roll on the damage chart, only two rolls. If he gets a roll of one, he repairs. And he rolls six and three. So the three will be move or turn. So he's simply gonna go ahead and turn. And then the six will be popping smoke. That's a clever German. So he pops smoke here. And that is the end for the, uh, for the Germans. We now go ahead and roll end of uh, turn events. And we roll a nine, which is oof, mechanical fa failure. Sherman is immobilized. Okay, that's not good. We're immobilized here now. We have to take this guy out. He's going to be able to flank us pretty bad now. Okay, it is the end of that turn. We go now to the next turn. And we have to roll for our actions. I am going to go ahead and roll for, since we're immobilized, I'm going to roll for uh, attack. So we have two dice because we're on a road. We have one because we have our gunner alive, one because we have our loader alive. Please let me <laughs> roll five or six or a double. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's pretty funny. That's a pretty good roll, three fives and one six. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our first five to fire the main gun. To hit this guy now, he's a size of four, one hex away. That is five to hit. However, we have a plus one because this guy is um, has smoke cover. So four, five, six. So we need a six or higher to hit him now. <laughs> We're all 12. That is definitely a hit. Let's remove this uh, AP round to remember that we are now out of ammo. Okay, so to penetrate, we are uh, firing now at his frontal armor. Frontal armor has an armor value of five. We have an AP value of one, so we need to roll four or higher to penetrate. Please, come on. Yes, we roll a four, so it penetrates, and that is, he's automatically destroyed. We will roll for the damage just for fun. It is damaged, but he's already damaged, so that means we now have destroyed uh, that uh, Panzer four. So now it is, um, it is finished our, uh, our attack turn. We go now to our miscellaneous turn and I have to roll, let's see, I have to roll a four now to get out of this situation. We are on a road, so that is just one roll. And I roll a three, which is gonna be driver turn or move. But again, I need to roll a four or a five to repair. So uh, the danger is not over yet. Uh, and we go ahead and remove the German smoke and then we roll for uh, random event and roll five which is German infantry. Oh, that's not good Now we're gonna put out some German infantry. We roll uh, and put them out on the red number. We have 
two. So the infantry will spawn over here. And that's not so much a problem as long as you don't get adjacent to them. And it is our turn again, so we're not gonna move. We're not gonna roll for um, move. We're not gonna roll for. Okay, actually, we'll, we'll roll for attack just to load our main gun, and we'll roll with four dice. And we roll one, two, two, and five, so we definitely get to load our gun. And now we need to get out of here, so we need to get a repair. We go to miscellaneous roll. We need to roll five or six to repair. And we roll a four, which is a repair, sorry. We need a four or five to repair. So we repair that uh, damage track. And now it's time to get the hell out of here. We have to go to a red arrow to get out. So we roll on um, we roll on the random event table and we roll eight, which is all adjacent German infantry attack. But we are not adjacent to any uh, German infantry, so we're good. We go back, it's our turn again, and we roll on uh, simply on movement with four dice and roll six six five and two Let's see here Six six five and two so with the two we're gonna go ahead and turn and with the five we're gonna go ahead and move and then with the six Actually, I'll move again move up like that Okay, and I will stay here. I'm not going to use the last one. I'm not going to roll for firing. We have to be adjacent to kill the infantry. But we are going to roll on the miscellaneous. And we will roll only one dice because we're on a road. And roll a one, which is gunner can fire a machine gun. Loader can load, but there, that's no use to me right now. So we roll on a random event. And we roll seven, which is all adjacent German infantry attack. But we're not adjacent. So we go back to our turn. Roll four dice again on the movement. And we roll one, one, three, and four. Let's see here. I uh, don't know what happened to my dice tower. It's a little bit jiggly. Uh, one, we can uh, reverse. Three, we can turn. Four, we can turn. So we're going to use the three to turn. And then we're going to use the double one to move. And the four we, it's wasted. So we roll one dice on miscellaneous and we roll a six, which is going to be extinguish fire, but we currently have no fire. And then we go ahead and roll for random event and we roll 10, which is Stuka. Come on, no. Okay, so we have a Stuka attack and I was afraid of this happening. So uh, normally the commander can fire at the Stuka, but he's dead now, so we're not going to be able to do that. So the Stuka will try to hit us. And the Stuka hits on 8 or higher. So let's just start by rolling and see if that happens. Nope, we roll a 5. So the Stuka does not hit. Haha, <laughs> pew. Okay, so it is our turn again. And again, we have 4 dice. We start with moving. Movement. And... Yes, maybe it is... Okay, we don't get out now. But it is not far away. So, uh, let's see here. We move... With the four, let's see, the four is turns. We move with the five, and then we move with the double three, and just one more movement, and we have one. So we roll for random event, and we roll a four, which is um, if commander not killed in action, you can perform a load repair or ex extinguish, but he is killed in action. So it is our turn again. We roll a movement table, and we roll a six. That is what we need to move off the board. We have officially won the very first scenario of the game. Mission one. <laughs> okay, that got a little bit uncomfortable. I think I was rather lucky that I actually made it. And I think a great thing with this uh, game and my favorite thing with this game is that we don't have a turn limit. You can go on and on for how long you want. But I think I am, like, as a person, I am, like, I want to win very fast. I don't want to, you know, drag it out. So I have a tendency of just, you know, going to these panzers really fast. And maybe I should wait them out, you know, perhaps go into a city, try to get hold down, stuff like that. You know, in this city, for example, you have your hold down, uh, you get, you know, plus two, you get... Um, plus one because target in building hex and then uh, if it's uh, shot fired from so that's not relevant because this if he's also adjacent it's not actually gonna help him out so I don't know why that tree line is doing there's a little bit confusing 
Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, I think I'm being a little bit fast. But also, even though turns are unlimited, you are gonna want to be a little bit careful because you see with the end of turn events, you can get Panzer Freeze, you can get Stukas, and you can get, you know, mechanical failures and so on. So, uh, you know, if you drag it out too long, you're gonna suffer from those um, end of turn events. Anyway, guys, like I said, this is mission one. Next up, we're gonna do mission two, which is Tiger Hunt. So, we'll see how I am gonna do versus the mighty Tiger. Uh, well, <laughs> the Panzer IV has almost killed me, so I'm really not sure how I'm gonna do against the Tiger, but we'll see about that. If you have any pointers, if you have any uh, strategy guides, strategy tips, tactical advice, please give me them, because I need them. This game is hard, but it is fun. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I will see you next time.